Hello, Ectosage here on the Sage channel, and a wondrous update came out today that has added a very simplistic version of AI to medieval engineers. Now, you can see I am being chased by three rather unhappy chaps here. Uh, they appear to be carrying clubs. Now, if we go ahead and just stand still, though, well, yes, apparently they've lost their way the second I stop moving. They don't quite know what to do. Maybe if I run at them. Hello? Hello, good friends. Are you actually free? Oh, no. Well, as you can see, it's a very simplistic AI, and they can't kill, currently kill you because the game is currently set to have you only in creative mode. So they just sort of run up to you, uh, bugger off a little bit. I believe they reach a certain distance, yes, and then come right back again. They call it harassing you. Anyway, you can also kill these guys if you would like, and go ahead and select one of the throwing boulders from your good old character tools menu. So we're going to go ahead and just do a few little tests here and throw a boulder. Yep, they die even with the smallest, lightest boulder. And you can see right now, I thought I was carrying a club for a second. Right now they don't actually have much of a death animation. But you can't click on them, apparently, which doesn't seem to do anything. It's possible I can string them up. I'll test that in a little bit. But let's go ahead and kill another one. You can see they instantly, they get pushed by the force of it, and then they go back to their basic stance here. Which is pretty cool, and you can see that their weapon is just floating there by them. I'm assuming it's because of the way it's rigged. Uh, let's just get rid of this last one right here. There we go. <laughs> it is. It's 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 early days, but it is funny. Now, also, you can go through this tab right here, the bots tab, and you have two things here: the attack here button and the barbarian one. Well, I've got them down on my hot bear, hot bear, no hot bar, no hot bar. Thank you. And if you go ahead and left click, it'll place a barbarian, in, and you can see he spawns in in his default position. I suspect that's the position they were in when they rigged their basic T-pose. Sometimes they're done with their arms slightly down, that way you don't get as much deformation in their shoulders and armpit area. Anyway, you can see that guy decided to run off. Again, he saw me and came back. We can go ahead and put a few more of them in here, up to six. So if you try to put in more than six, you'll notice that the other ones are vanishing. So if I just spam click, we end up with a nightmare just occurring in front of us forever and ever and ever. A little farther away, maybe. No, they're not even starting to move. I'm clicking too fast. There we go, they start moving. Yeah, anyway, I just thought that was interesting. But currently, a maximum of six. Uh, their look, obviously, we've seen here. I suspect in the future the white will actually be colored, so they can be different barbarian tribes or whatnot. We can go also go ahead and fly away to a point where I suspect they'll stop chasing us. There we go. And now you can see they start automatically going in their own random directions. We can go ahead and hop into spectator mode using the F8 button and just see where they go. And currently, they seem to just go in random directions. Now, what they do also seem to go towards are the statues. In fact, I don't mean they just seem to, I mean they actually definitely do go towards these statues here. So if I was to go ahead and put a king statue in right there, instantly you can see it goes towards them. Now, unlike us, they actually take those down. So it's actually been destroyed. If I press in, you'll like, yeah, actually it's not showing up because there's no block left. You can see the base of it was knocked off. It's a bit easier to see if we go ahead and place it on a slightly flatter terrain. Can we find a piece? There we go. So you can actually see the base of it. We can even place a few of these in here, I press in to see the structure, and now you can see that that NPC over there saw them and is now running towards them, and he's going to go ahead and try to destroy those. Now, currently, remember, this is very early AI, so they're not really balanced at all. It's just sort of to let you fiddle around with them and stuff. And you see there, he's completely devastated them because he's Superman, pretty much. Unfortunately, he's not Superman or either that. Well, he's not Superman when it comes to boulders, or the boulders are just full of kryptonite, so we can't take him out. And you see another guy here. Now, an interesting thing is that their pathfinding is a bit finicky. So if I go ahead and put a wall in his way, he's going to run into it for a second, and he gets angry and swings at it like a belligerent child. So we can see here he's still running into it, and he gets angry and swings at it again. You see he's knocking away stuff. If you see little chunks like this taken out, that's because as I was building this, I had barbarians on it a few times. They ran into my structures. And you see here he's still chopping away at that. And of course, it's Al. I actually expected it to be changing colors, but it's still showing white because it is a piece that is actually in the earth. And you can see he's slowly, slowly making his, his way through there. Might take him a very long time, or he might even get hung up on something that he can't quite destroy. Okay, well, he just decided to... Oh, okay, yeah, brilliant. Okay, so yeah. So they're not Superman in a number of ways, except for when they hit stuff. Anyway, let's get send that guy. Oh, I expect him to go up the hill. You can knock their corpses about a tiny bit, but not too much. Let's actually do a quick test here. Uh, unfortunately, I can't click on him. So let's do our quick test. Let's put down a bunch of these guys. Let's... Uh, okay... I need two of you near each other, please. Yes, come here. Come here. You. You'll do. Nope. Just die. Just die. Yeah, I didn't fully charge it there. There we go. So let's press T on you and then T on you. Nope, didn't connect a rope. That was my test to see if you could connect ropes between the two of them. 
So it looks like you'll just be able to loot them in the future. Okay, anyway, another thing they show is they don't have much care for their own lives. So if I was to go ahead and put them up here, at the very, very top of this big, strange floating platform, there we go. Well, as you can see, they just don't care, do they? They just take their... Well, yeah, they even seem to have a falling animation, which is nice. They probably use the same base animations as the main character at the current time. But you can see, oh, a few of them got angry and decided to beat on their own area where they're living. Very, oh, oh, well, I thought he was going to live for a second, but no such luck for him. Let's buzz down to the ground and... <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um, it is funny, and I do... <laughs> So I'm still here and yelling, so there's yeah one left. Hi, how you doing? Oh, nope, you're going down there? That's that's cool. We'll just switch back to our other camera for that then. <laughs> I do love it. It's derpy, it's they balance, it's early days, what do you expect? But damn, is that fun to watch. Let's see, um, let's actually do a little bit of a tiny thing here. Uh, going off my little plan a little going off my little plan a little tiny bit. Oh dear god. Going off my plan a little bit. Let's go ahead and put some of these guys in here and then let's go back to our spectator camera. Oh no, what are y'all? You guys really shouldn't do that. They're stuck in each other, I guess, there, so they just started swinging. Well, I expected um, something a bit different <laughs> from that. Uh, I actually expected them all to run towards me. Come here. Here, I'll press this button. The number two key, you can see that on here, is the other one that was in the bot one. The attack here brings them to attack directly where your character is. So I can do that and just call them off. So what I could do is put six of them there. Oh, oops. Well, hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love that too much. I don't know if it makes me a terrible person, but it is enjoyable. And you see they've slowly taken out their platform. You know, what another thing is I could do is just simply have the most simple thing in the world to fully demonstrate this is just delete the platform under them. There we go. So now we can get our good old show. <laughs> well, I missed a lot of it. Oh, oh, they're bouncing up again. Yeah. The devs have recently said, though, in their AMA they <laughs> did on Reddit, that they're going to be adding in, or they're working on redoing some of the animations, rereading the animations for, I believe, Space Engineers and Medieval Engineers, so we'll actually have proper ragdolls. So that's something we don't even have in Space Engineers, so hopefully we'll get that in both games. And if the ragdoll in Space Engineers works in zero gravity so your character actually flails in interesting ways that could be really awesome anyway let's move on from there another thing i found interesting that might be kind of cool to show is this room here i've put a bunch of furniture in here that they sort of activated in the last update i probably should have done a show like this to show off all the furniture it's pretty nice stuff i originally tried putting a wooden floor in here but every time i got near these walls the structural integrity has a spurge out and the whole thing came out but this is just a great way to demonstrate their pathfinding so if we put down six of them in here they're gonna have a little hissy fit here. Yep, there they go. They've had their hissy fit and they've started tearing down the rooms as you would expect. Yes, yes, hissy fit, hissy fit. Yeah, that chair. Man, such a strong man to beat up a chair. Yeah, get that chair. So, yeah, they, they sort of have their own little hissy fits. Hopefully in the future we'll be able to have more AP, AI than just these six. So you can have like 40 people in here just bashing their way out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, that guy found his way out. That guy deserves a reward. He went straight for the window and just super strengthed it straight out of there. But I thought he was going to hit his friend. Yeah. Okay, well, <laughs> I didn't expect him. Uh, they've actually gone to the quarters just sort of out of fact because, of course, they hit the side. Often I find they'll swing once and then they'll try sort of swing again maybe and then try to run another direction if they're still failing. They might actually also have something to do with actually trying to hit a object near them or a plurop near them, so they might actually be switching targets to that one if there's another one nearby. Can't exactly figure them all out. It's a pretty interesting though nonetheless, and I do suggest you go ahead and have a play with them. They're pretty cool. Oh dear, I've switched back to my actual character. Right, and just to reiterate, the number two key there was just to call them to their current position, so no matter where they are on the map, if I was to press that number two key, which is the attack here button, they will just come right at me. And that is just pressing, you don't have to lean left click. So now if we were to switch back in there, yeah, they're all in the corner because they're trying to go straight to me in a straight line. They don't have any pathfinding currently. Anyway, let's go ahead and really quickly just let them out of there, shall we? Might kill a few of them in the process, or all of them. I don't know. There we go. Got their building broken open. Hi, friends. How you doing? You doing good? Of course you... Whoa! You got close. Shoot. Shoot! <laughs> I love it too much. The fact that they do go into that just 
base character spot hit the guy's head and he just went down. Base character state is pretty damn funny. And actually, I kind of like it. It'll be changed in the future, but for the time being, that guy really did do a Superman pose there. It's pretty entertaining. One last thing before I move on is also that the way you turn barbarians on, because you actually have to turn them on, is go into the edit settings area of any of your worlds and toggle on the little barbarians tab right there. If it's not turned on, well, I don't think you'll be able to spawn barbarians, but I know for a fact barbarians won't naturally spawn because I should also note, barbarians will naturally just spawn and wander the world randomly until they get near the border edges of the world or run into something long enough and then ping pong randomly off in another direction. Anyway, other things in this update, not just the characters, even though I find that to be the most entertaining, would be the fact that they've added circular logs. So, of course, when you cut down trees, well, you can't actually harvest anything yet. But in the past, you would expect that maybe we were just always going to be getting these square logs. Well, they've gone ahead and added it now, so you also have these secondary, or not secondary, these circular logs. And you can see here, use the middle mouse scroll wheel to go ahead and make them smaller or bigger. And, of course, notice I can't place this here. You have to actually rotate them so they're being placed on their edges, which is a pretty cool little thing. And then, of course, if you want to place something maybe between these two, well, they're at an angle, so let's go ahead and not do that. So, so a better demonstration would be like this, so they're not at an angle like those other two. Well, now we can go ahead and place something like this right up. I missed right here and right here. And then place a block between the two of them. And I missed again because I'm just fantastic like that. And there we go. Now they're lined up together. And of course we can go ahead and break these if we felt so inclined and they just crumble like everything else, which is pretty cool. What else have they done? Well, they also added some new catch stuff. So you'll also see that if we go back to all blocks down here, we got our catch block and then we got locked catch block, I believe as before, but now there's a few different types, I think. So we got this one here. It's our basic catch block that we're all familiar with. We got one that's sticking through a little bit more. And then we got this one, which actually has the backside filled in. So you can theoretically place it down on, there we go, the ground, or even if I should have had this ready to demonstrate, a wall. So we can now place that on a wall without have worrying about any issues that might occur. And you're going to hear a barbarian screaming in the background because he's having a hissy fit because he just must have spawned in a nearby area and saw me and gone, oh, human, I'm supposed to get near. Of course, now you can also go ahead and place the normal square ones on here as before, or you can place your circular ones on here, which now fit it a bit better. And can we go ahead and place this right on here? Wow. I wish you could place them and line it up, especially with ones like this where they pass through or ones like this. But of course we could go ahead and have made this properly. So let me go ahead and do something just to demonstrate these. Alrighty, so there we go. I've gone ahead and put the one with the big obvious pass through in and now we can go ahead and place that there. I believe they should have lined. Yes, they have connected together. So that's pretty dang cool. And then of course carrying on this, let me go ahead and set up a little bit more here. Now I'm not really sure what the point is between this one here and that one I was using there but I'm assuming maybe it just makes it easier for the pieces to connect through. Let's see, did that connect through? Yeah, it did. So this is really working really well to connect it all through as this is now one big piece. But again, I'm just not sure what the difference, what the point is between this piece and this piece here, as they both seem to be the, do the same thing. Maybe it's just easier to connect with this. That could be very obvious. Anyway, they also have these locked locks here. So the lock lock we're familiar with here is, well, you just click away and it stays locked in. They have another one here that is the same thing, just with the block sticking out of the back. And then they have one here, which is the same as that first block there. So it sticks in the wall and cannot be moved. Sticks in the wall, that way it's not going through the wall. I got so confused there when I pushed on it and just Okay, it's a physics game. What do you expect? It's early days too. Anyway, let's go ahead and put one of those in and I'll demonstrate some of that. So there we go. We got that in. Let's place that in. You see that pop real quick. So it's now in there too. We push on it just to see that it is locked. And then one last thing I'm going to put in right here is another one of these with a pass through. Uh, unfortunately, I got to build it up first and then we're going to put a handle on it. There we go. Got all that set up. Now we can go ahead and put our handle right here, I believe, and turn it and the whole thing should be turning. Of course, silly me, I haven't put anything on it to demonstrate that but you'll just have to take the word for it. It's turning. In fact, we could probably go ahead and do this and then do an F8. And if we're lucky, it might still be turning. Yes, indeed it is. So I'm holding the T that button down to keep it spinning. So yeah, there you go. You can see it now works and it's pretty cool to have these long paths of stuff. 
And I guess that one must be to make it easier. And of course now it's just going to a wall. If you wanted one to be stuck into a wall for whatever reason, or maybe to be starting your vehicle, whatever from that point. Uh, what else do we have? Of course the lock catch. So we can go ahead and just demonstrate that. Make sure it still works as it used to, I believe. Hit that and now this should not spin. Uh, let's go ahead and do the F8 thing again. And it's spinning. Okay, I maybe it's shift tab and it won't go that way. Shift T I mean. No, still spinning. Okay, maybe this is my incompetence and I don't fully understand it. Let's try that now. It's still spinning, isn't it? What about the other way? It's still spinning, isn't it? Okay, I clearly don't comprehend these properly, or it's broken. Anyway guys, that's it for this update. I believe that's everything. I spent a lot of time battling on about the barbarians, and of course you've spent a lot of time probably hearing them yell at the background as they try to get to me and then beat away at these walls. And then, of course, once they actually get to me, they go, Oh God, it's a random person! I run away and then go, Oh God, I shouldn't run away! Or at least they were earlier. Anyway, guys, just to celebrate the end of this video, let's go ahead and annihilate a bunch of these people with rocks far too heavy for their own good. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks a bunch for watching. I hope this was informative and entertaining, and I shall see you guys next time. Ta-ta! Did you think I gasped? <gasps> and he went flying. Oh, yeah, you're the last one. And say cheese! Ow. No fun. Help us.